What do Jake Paul, Little Yachty, and Soldier Boy have in common? If you would have guessed they are all amateur rappers, then yeah, I guess that's correct. But they're also getting sued for promoting an alleged pump and dump crypto coin. Safe Moon is the crypto coin at the center of this new lawsuit. What is Safe Moon, you're probably wondering? It's the hot new deflationary token built on the blockchain that will revolutionize the finance industry from its tokenomics protocol and make everyone rich. I think I got enough buzzwords in there. Here's Soldier Boy tweeting about Safe Mars as a project that he believes is moon worthy. He also included the part about him getting paid to promote the coin. Safe Mars, Safe Moon, same thing. By the time I hit college, my parents told me to stay out of trouble, attend class, and never end up in a news article alongside Soldier Boy, because that means you're down bad. Here's an image of Soldier Boy's Twitter timeline showing back-to-back -back tweets promoting crypto in an obvious paid sponsorship template. Today's video will be fun because we'll discuss this lawsuit, why I think many of these coins are borderline legal Ponzi schemes, and why we will all benefit from these lawsuits emerging. There's something in his tweets that I noticed that gives pretty good insight into the current influencer-driven crypto culture. If you miss Safe Moon, you'll love Xenon Pay. This statement is absurd because if a crypto coin has value, you don't miss the opportunity three months after it launches. I hope this is as obvious to you as it is to me. If you miss the opportunity after the initial pump is the most blatant sign that everyone dealing with these coins deep down knows they're all pump and dumps. Here's Jake Paul's tweet in March telling his followers that they would be sad if they didn't buy Safe Moon with no indication that it was a paid sponsorship tweet. That tweet was end of March and Soldier Boys was end of June. If you miss Safe Moon, I don't know what else could make it more obvious that the influencer crypto culture sees these as quick pump and dumps. Here's the class action complaint filed last Thursday against Safe Moon, their executive team, and four separate influencers who promoted the coin. The influencers were Jake Paul, Nick Carter, Soldier Boy, and Lil Yachty who promoted the project at various times to their social media following. Plaintiffs bring this action on behalf of all investors who purchased SafeMoon tokens between March 8, 2021 and the time of filing this complaint and were damaged thereby. Here's the chart showing that investors buying SafeMoon tokens on March 8, 2021 were actually in a great position to profit. The key with pump and dumps is that you have to time the market. You don't have to do it perfectly, but if you're within a day or two, you'll make a lot of money. Here's my honest tip for all of you. If you want to participate in these pump and dumps, you sell within 24 hours after a popular influencer promotes a coin. No questions asked, do it. SafeMoon actually gave investors three different key moments to sell. If you bought tokens early, there were three separate pumps where you could have sold for a huge profit. Quick side note, the creators of most of these tokens aren't committing pump and dump fraud. It's the system that creates it. These coins have no value, so people are only buying to make money. Influencers are paid to promote the coin, causing it to spike momentarily. And then when the savvier investors sell all of their shares, the price immediately plummets. Because there's no earnings calls or any indication that people should hold for longer than two hours, no one else buys until the next influencer-driven pump. The company's executives, collaborating with several celebrity promoters, made false or misleading statements to investors about SafeMoon through social media advertisements and other promotional activities. Straight from the FTC's website, disclose when you have any financial, employment, personal, or family relationship with a brand. From the tweets I shared just a second ago, there was no mention of their tweets being sponsored. This is misleading. The SafeMoon token is a speculative digital token created in March 2021 by a group of cryptocurrency developers and investors, including, but not limited, to the executive defendants. The key word here is speculative. Investing in these coins when they first launch is more gambling than investing. At the time of launch and throughout the class period, the SafeMoon tokens were sold pursuant to a three-page white paper titled SafeMoon, a deflationary reflection token with automated liquidity acquisition. Crypto in 2022 is basically venture capital for unaccredited investors. The reason why I don't label these coins as scams is because they aren't technically. It's super high risk gambling because buying a coin means that you're hoping that the developers create something of value because it doesn't have any inherent value. They can become scams if there's a rug pull, if promises aren't kept, or if developers sold you on a dream that they couldn't create, but you don't know until it happens and then it becomes a scam. Before it's a scam, it's just roulette. The company's purported purposes are the same as any other company trying to sell its financial products to investors, offer dividend-like reflection rewards for investors that hold the SafeMoon tokens. When SafeMoon gets bought and sold, a small percentage of the transaction gets sent to the holders as a dividend like reward called reflections. Since SafeMoon has no revenue other than when people buy in, it has a very Ponzi-like structure. SafeMoon isn't a Ponzi scheme, but its doppelganger is a Ponzi. Now in this particular example, we're talking about SafeMoon. And with SafeMoon, what they've done is they said, hey, we have a roadmap. Thank you for investing in this coin. Thank you for investing in this product. This is what we plan to get done. 
and everything that they've planned to get done along the way, their goals have been hit. Yes, technically because stuff is getting done and there is speculation that revenue might be earned in the future based on the plan mentioned in the white paper, these coins aren't Ponzi schemes. SafeMoon embodies meme token hype better than almost any crypto in history. In just two months, SafeMoon has engineered $4 billion market value inflated by influencers like Jake Paul and Soldier Boy. Come on, you know you're in a bubble when Jake Paul and Soldier Boy tweeting about a project with no product can rise to a $4 billion valuation in a couple of months. What does SafeMoon create? Well, they created this new system where they return money back to the holders after a new person buys in. SafeMoon's supply gimmick is integral to its value proposition. Scarcity inflates as supply deflates, which implies value. However, the price of the SafeMoon tokens is determined by market demand, exactly what makes celebrity endorsements so critical to SafeMoon's success. This is the most important thing to understand when you're contemplating investing in these coins. They can throw a bunch of terms at you or tell you about their revolutionary way of helping their holders, but value is determined by market demand. If no one wants to invest in the coin, it's not worth anything. No matter how many coins get burned or sent back to the holders or sent to liquidity, blah, blah, blah. Here's a tweet from another defendant in this lawsuit, Ben Phillips. I've said it before, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do like moons in safe places, hashtag safe moon. His legal bills are about to go to the moon. I don't know where the I'm not a financial advisor or this isn't financial advice started, but it literally holds zero weight in court. I don't know why people do it. It's equivalent to walking in a stranger's house. I'm not trespassing, I'm just looking for my phone because I said it, I can't get in trouble. On March 29, 2021, musician Miles Lil Yachty Parks McCollum promoted Safe Moon in a tweet that stated, Safe Moon is the new Dogecoin. On March 31, Lil Yachty tweeted about Safe Moon with no indication that he was paid to do so. A couple days later, Lil Yachty let everyone know that his financial advice paid off for those who invested in Safe Moon. As long as they sold after the pump, it was a great gamble. If there's one thing I've learned about influencers on social media, it's that any promotion with the possibility of making money by someone with a large following will move volume. On April 3rd, 2021, SafeMoon announced on its Facebook page that it had got several celebrity promoters to work with the company, including Jake Paul and Little Yachty. I love when these crypto projects act like it's a huge milestone to get influencers to promote their project. There's literally a list that agencies have that has everyone's price and if you pay it, they will promote it. I've seen it. Their due diligence is about as extensive as an MLM entrepreneur boss selling a Forex auto trader. The first bullet point for the company's post about the SafeMoon roadmap for the fourth quarter of 2021 declared that the company would finish SafeMoon Exchange. This presents a legal gray area because SafeMoon not finishing a promised feature of the token doesn't make it a scam, it just makes them another overhyped crypto token. If Elon Musk promises that the Roadster is on the way during every shareholder's call but never delivers, it's not illegal. In the SafeMoon example, there's no indication that the intentions of the developers were malicious, so I don't see any harm in products not getting finished. In only nine days after the SafeMoon marketing campaign began in earnest, the promotion effects of Paul and McCollum along with those of the company and executive defendants during the same time period caused investors to purchase SafeMoon tokens in droves. I don't love the wording here. Tweets don't cause investors to gamble their money. At some point, we gotta put some responsibility on the people buying SafeMoon tokens because they're only doing so to make money. Your greed led you to buying a meme token with no present utility just so you can make some money. When you didn't, you ran to the lawyers and drastically increased the trading volume over those days. For example, from March 27 to April 4, the trading volume leaped from 7 million to 68.7 million, a staggering 875% increase. If you ever wondered why influencers get paid to promote projects, that is why. If you didn't care about your audience and someone DM'd you showing you proof of funds for $100,000 for one tweet, would you do it? If you ever want me to make a video on you, it doesn't cost you a dollar. You actually make money take money to promote a pump and dump, and then you get a video for free. After paying the influencers to pump the coin, SafeMoon tweeted out that they have their boldest innovation yet on the way, and they hype you up even more by indicating their project may be one of the biggest in the space. A week later, they needed another pump, so they quit playing games and hired Nick Carter to give them a little boost. They didn't send Nick any money because he said, I quote, I'll do it for free as long as you love me. With the Ponzi scheme, there are no goals to be hit. There are no products to be released. People are just coming in, throwing in money, and relying on the next person to throw in money. This lawsuit is detailing how SafeMoon used influencers and their executive team to hype up this project as the next big thing with all of these awesome products, only to fall flat with producing them. The intentions are clear that they have a dev team and no scams took place, but when you don't have any products and investors are only making money from new people signing up, well, that kind of makes it a Ponzi scheme, yeah? That wasn't a dip today. We went back to earth for a bigger rocket and more passengers, hashtag safe moon. I thoroughly enjoy seeing these kinds of tweets because I think they're hilarious. There's a quote I love to live by and that is, the more something has to be sold on hype, the lower the quality of an investment it is. Ultimately, the promotional efforts by the company and Soldier Boy, Wittreal and Nick Carter caused a staggering 1700% increase in trading volume between April 16 and April 22. 
Once you know what the script looks like, you can see exactly what these tokens are doing. I'm not hating, I'm just letting you know that if you can time these coins, buy them the minute after a big influencer hypes it up and sell it about 12 hours later. As long as you sell before the smart money dumps, you're good. On or about May 5, 2021, the company via its Reddit social media account took in funds raised from the community to pay for multiple billboards that promoted the safe moon tokens as the world's fastest growing cryptocurrency with the fastest growing crypto community on earth. This kind of promotion feels like an MLM. If someone stopped you in Times Square to ask, oh, Oh, wow, I've never heard of SafeMoon. What products do they sell? Well, they don't exactly sell any products. They sell an opportunity to have your portfolio go to the moon. But the only way that you will actually make a return is if new people buy into the same scheme. So if new people were to stop buying into SafeMoon, there would suddenly be no growth in price and no- Kind of like stocks, right? You buy a stock? and then you're relying on other people to buy the stock, so your stock goes up. Huh, finance 101, ladies and gentlemen. This is a common argument that people who are emotionally invested in a crypto coin use that sounds correct on the surface, but is actually terribly incorrect. If people stopped investing in SafeMoon, the price would crater to about $0 essentially because there's no product and everyone would no longer believe the hype. Look at the charts for projects where people stop believing and you'll see. The reason why stocks are different is because one, there will never be an instance where a company will all of a sudden have no demand, barring outlier scenarios like Enron, of course. And two, you're buying shares of something that has inherent value. Let me give you an example. Penn National Gaming is a publicly traded company found in the S&P 500. They recently bought Barstool Sports, which is how I'm familiar with them. They had $5.91 billion in sales in 2021. With an $8 billion market cap and 170 million shares outstanding, it would require a lot of money to buy the company. Theoretically, if everyone stopped buying, the price would drop to zero, right? That's not exactly right because the market is saying this specific balance sheet along with every other variable that goes into investment decisions comes out to a $46.50 per share market price. Assuming no news or changes, if no one else bought the stock and it hypothetically dropped to a penny, you'd be able to buy nearly $6 billion in sales for $170 million. You'd also be buying the entities they own like Barstool Sports that has a popular pizza eater, podcasts, and radio shows. This would literally be the deal of a lifetime. They would investigate you for possibly manipulating the market because you'd 10,000 X your money in about a week. Finance 101 is such a snarky thing to say after not understanding the difference between a crypto token and a publicly traded company. When SafeMoon needed another pump, they went to their honeypot, Jake Paul. A year ago, I talked about Doge before Elon. Three months ago, I talked about SafeMoon. Now I'm talking about Yummy. If Jake Paul is your financial advisor, then your wallet is in worse shape than Ben Askren is on the pre-fight scale. You'd be down about 80% to 90% of your money if you invested in the tokens mentioned in this tweet when he fired it off. Mysterious SafeMoon investor dumps 2.4 trillion coins, value falls 28% in the day's trade. This is one of the major risks of these coins. One investor's decision leads to a major drop in value for the project, but don't worry my friends, we have a savior. Okay, 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 I need the price to go up. I can't take this anymore. Every day I'm checking the price and it's dipping. Every day I check the price, bad price. I can't take this anymore, man. I have overinvested by a lot. It is what it is, but I need the price to go up. Can devs do something? Jake Paul, Soldier Boy, and Lil Yachty are getting sued. Hard Rock Nick, one of the biggest investors on the planet, overinvested. Devs, can you please do something to make sure we all make money? Pump and dumps are great when you make money. Thanks for watching.